But you guys are going to notice a huge issue here because obviously these numbers are showing way too many decimal places. So what we can do to fix these crazy numbers is create a new function to correctly format this. So before our calculate total function, what we want to do is create another function called format price. And we want to pass in a parameter of price, create a variable called formatted price, use our parse float method, and whatever number we pass into here, we want to use that number, and we want to use our two fixed method to only display two decimal places. Use two local string because we want it to format with proper commas. And then we simply want to return our formatted price. We can go back down to our pricing display here and we can use our format price function on each one of our values here. So I added it on the first one here and you guys can see it only has two decimal places now. Now you guys can see that I added it to the rest of the values here and now they are formatted properly right here. And what we can do to add a dollar sign is simply come back here and add another dollar sign in the front of each one of our values. So it looks like a legitimate dollar formatted value. So we have our decimal places and everything showing. Tap here to see what happens next.